magic materials mastered. That's all I'm gonna do, because that's all I need. Some people see that as not even worth it, considering actually it really isn't. In fact, by the end of the game, if you're level 99, you don't have to have any materials. More new enemies. The Corm Well. Well, at least it isn't the Corm Hole. Ho oh, ho! Bad fun! Easy to take out, really. Of course, then again, like I said, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm fairly over leveled for this bit. Now then, um, some of you viewers may be wondering if I'm going to have any more co-commentators. Oh, hey, a behemoth in the wild. Like I was saying, some of you viewers have been wondering if I'm going to have any more co-commentators, as in any at all on this free, and it's possible, but I wouldn't bank on it. A lot of people are quite busy right now. I need to get Sid out of the back row. More Stardust. I think that inflicts confusion status. I think. I can't be completely sure on that. So, really, all that's left to do is just keep heading onwards. Not much story beyond this point, or I should say, not much story until the very end of this scene. But other than that, it's fairly action-packed. I don't have my controller just sitting down doing nothing for three hours on end. Oh boy. Uh, some of you guys have been wondering, since I'm doing the Tenchu games, and it's obvious that I actually do kind of like stealth games, if I'm going to do the Metal Gear Solid series. And to that I say it's a strong possibility that it would be like challenge runs of Metal Gear Solid, like depleting stamina only challenge, or no kills, or not being seen, or something like that. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 would be impossible for me to do a not-be-seen challenge, but... Either way, it, it would be some sort of challenge that would be a lot more difficult than, uh... Just running around shooting everybody, because really, Metal Gear Solid is a stealth-based game. If you don't stealth it, it's... Well, uh, look at me. I'm, I'm sitting here trying to tell people how to play games. Really, you can play it any way you damn well please, but as far as I'm concerned, it's a stealth-based game. Same goes with the uh, Splinter Cell games and the Tetsu games. Sure, you can run around or everybody in the entire fucking level, but it's a stealth-based game, so... Really, why would you? In fact, most of the time you get rewarded if you don't get seen. But that's neither here nor there. What is here and there is, uh... That being the last treasure chest that I know how to get to. Those two up there, I'm not completely sure I know how to get, or I'm not completely sure how to get to them. After this, I'm gonna make me a sandwich. No enemy? Nope! Oh, tricked ya, didn't die, viewers. And that was when I realized that I needed to put Sid in the front because I was sitting there looking at him like, why are you doing such little damage? Uh, really, the only reason why I'll ever have someone in the back. In fact, 
at the end of the game when I do a no materia challenge, the only one who will be hurting the final boss is going to be Eris, considering you need someone with long range in order to get to the uh in order to be able to damage him. So, yeah, new enemies. Shadow Marker. Uh, these guys are what ate up a lot of the time in my video. Their attacks take forever. And, yeah, may as well show off on this slash. Since I haven't yet. Oh! Something special to note, viewers, if by the time you don't reach the end of the game, or if by the time you reach the end of the game, and you don't have Omni Slash, you'll get it for the very, very last section. It's a uh, 100% chance you get Omni Slash no matter what. In fact, it's actually the only thing that can do damage to that boss. Oh, hey, it's Baron. Let's uh, let's talk to him right, right now. There we go. Very good. Uh, Baron, what the hell were you just shooting at? Uh, if you're wondering why I'm heading this way instead of to the cannon. Down this way is the W Summon if you travel far enough. So just keep heading this way, we'll pick up a few sources, whether it's Mind Source, Dark Source, whatever source. And more importantly, after we head or go through enough screens down this way, we will end up reaching where the uh W summon is. Or not W summon, the W item is. Der uh let me let me think. Next scene I'm gonna do a quick glossary look over or cursory look over the materials that I have. I know I've got all but one magic materia and that one magic materia can't be gotten until the disc three anyways. I know I've got all of the summon materials. All I gotta do is just be sure that I've got all of the command materials, which I think I do have all of them. But I gotta make completely sure. Because, uh, yeah. Yo, Nanaki, what you doing here? Okay, yeah. If you keep heading this, or if you keep heading in one direction, depending on who you don't have in your party, they'll tell you to go the other way, pretty much. Because the cannon's really not this way. Nope, nope, it ain't. And I'm gonna off-screen running back, by the way, viewers, because, uh... Yeah, it took forever to get down here, it's gonna take forever to get back. Uh, oh, something to note, viewers, me and, uh, Hildegain actually came up with something hilarious for my Halo Reach Let's Play on Legendary by myself. I'm gonna keep counters. I'm gonna have death by ally counters, like, say, Cat runs me the fuck over for the 90 billionth time. Or, or, I'm gonna have Death by Allies, and that includes, uh, George leading enemies over to me. I'm gonna have Death by Enemies, because Lord knows I'm gonna have a bunch of those. And I'm gonna have a counter for Rage. How many times I rage during the game. So really, it's gonna be like the, uh, Dragon Ball Z abridged thing. It, 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 it's going to be like the Krillin-owned counter, only it's going to be Rage Armor-owned counter. By the way, as you can see there, I've got 99 of all those fun stuff. And if you walk far enough this way, we will be confronted by the Turks. 
for the last time. And I was wrong when I, I, I misspoke. I was wrong. I could have swore the Turks died at this point, but apparently not. Gotta say, I do love the Turks uh, theme. I mean, I, I really do. The, the, the Turks theme, theme is one of the best in the game. Of course, being topped only by, uh, or easily being topped by Cosmo Canyon theme, that's just the absolute best in this entire fucking game. Okay, let's end this. You can say, no, let's not go, and if I remember right, you won't actually fight against these guys, but fuck them. Let's end this. Also, because it's... <laughs> it, it, you get a lot of AP out of this. So why the fuck not? Try this on for size. Did you just use a suicide drop on me? You bitch! Oh, suicide drop and the big bomb. Wow, you really have been learning some enemy skills. Neither of those are neither of those are actually accessible to your enemy skill materia. So really, don't even bother. More importantly, one knight will take their ass out quick and easy. Surprisingly enough, Knights only took two of the three of the two out of the three people and you're out. Normally if you beat all three of them at the same time, you'll get uh, three elixirs. It doesn't really matter considering I've got 99 elixirs. But I've actually but I actually only beat two out of the three. So really I should have showed off other summons before pulling knights, but don't uh, rest, rest assured, viewers, I will be showing off other summons. Rest assured. There it goes. Let's call it a day. <laughs> And of course, Elena has to check her hair. Before I say anything, I'm gonna always call her Elena, not Elena. It's Elena in my book. God damn it. Anyways, we got Odin Materia mastered and Destruct Materia mastered, so I can uh, equip some other stuff now. Now get get to work on those. In fact, in this scene alone there are actually three bosses that you can or that you get to fight one of them's optional being uh, the Turks just a few seconds ago but I don't know why you would avoid avoid fighting the Turks I mean you don't get a different ending if you avoid fighting the Turks actually that's something I would love to see. Uh, Square Enix, if for some ungodly reason you're actually watching this, make a Final Fantasy game with multiple endings, and it's all dependent on your actions during the game, like you decide to, uh, like, like, go, like, take example from your freaking Chrono series. I think y'all made that anyways. But either way, take example from the Chrono series have multiple endings depending on your actions, who you recruit, who you don't recruit, all that fun stuff. That would be something to see. But no, it's all it's always one ending no matter what. Don't matter what you do throughout the game. And that should seem fairly familiar viewers told you we'd be running into this guy again very shortly.